friends. So today's video is going to be just a little bit different because A, I didn't catch any fish. However, I do have some video of Sarah catching a nice sheep's head. We made it out to the pass for the first time uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, I think it was. The water was really calm. So going out again tomorrow. So hopefully after this, I will be able to put some fish on here that I caught. If not, this is going to be a real review uh, video. So I did go out today and bought a new rod and reel set. Kind of cheaped out on the rod a little bit. Uh, went with a Fenwick rod, which they're not cheap, but they're definitely not as expensive as some. Um, ever since I left Kentucky, when I when I was really getting into bass fishing in Kentucky, I had switched over and started using bait casters and just have never gotten one down here because I really didn't realize that there was any that was actually rated for salt water. So stop by Outcast Bait and Tackle today. Shout out to those guys for starters. Uh, if you're anywhere in the Pensacola area, Outcast Bait and Tackle, they are absolutely amazing to work with. Great customer service every time I go in there. Uh, great live baits, great selection of everything. But anyways, went in there today and they had some Shimano Corrados there and went ahead and picked one of those up. It's got like an intelligent braking system in it because I am not a master at using um, bait. I'm not even good at using bait casters. We won't use the, the term master. I'm not even good at using bait casters. So that was really important that I had to get something that you know I could kind of function with because I'm not great at it. The biggest difference down here in Kentucky as far as bait casters are concerned is the wind you're gonna almost have a breeze almost all the time. There's, there's just no way around that. Very, very seldom do you come out fishing that you don't have somewhat of a breeze. So got that, just got it put in the water. Uh, haven't caught any fish on it obviously yet. So hopefully that'll come. I'm having a, I'm having a hard time catching fish or finding fish. I don't think it's that I'm having a hard time catching them. I don't think I'm doing a very good job finding where they're at. And I think that's just gonna come with being out on the water and figuring it out. I, obviously the spots I was fishing this summer where I was catching them one right after the other is not working right now. And so hopefully I can either find a cold place to catch or a good place to catch cold weather fish or uh, summer will come back and hurry up. Either way though, I'm having a blast. No complaints whatsoever. Uh, I mean, it's Monday afternoon and we just finished up all of our raw edits for the 2019 wedding season. They are 100% complete. So if you're watching this and you're one of our brides and grooms and you haven't got your raw edit yet, it is on its way. We took those and dropped them in the mailbox here in Pensacola today. So you should be getting those before too long. But right now I'm just gonna go for a little cruise on the boat. I think I might go hit the bridge. I'm out on Bayou Grande today. I came all the way back to the back. Um, I think I might go up and, and check the bridge out. It's irritating. I'm not gonna lie. It's really really irritating because I've seen videos of people fishing the bridge right beside my house And I feel like I'm doing everything they're doing and uh, we caught the one sheep's head that you'll see in Sarah's that Sarah caught here Just a little bit out in the past and he was a hoss and why we decided to put him back in the water is beyond me I know how good sheep's head is. I've been looking for a good fish to smoke and just stupid I guess we got excited and just threw the daggone thing back in the water, but I'm not really sure. So one of two things is gonna happen next. I'm either gonna get on some fish and I'm gonna put some fishing in here, or I'm gonna give you guys a in-depth review of the new Shimano reel I just bought. But either way, stay tuned. It's gonna be informative or fun. We'll figure it out. See you guys in just a second. Hey, bye. You're right on that rock pile, you better be careful. I don't know, he might have got my. No, I don't think he did. I got one. Get it. get it, baby, get it. That's a sheeper. That's a sheeper. It's a big old sheep's head. Hang on, hang on. That's a convict right there. Get him. Hang on, just hold him tight. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna get the. Uh, <laughs> the net. Hang on. Pull him up. Don't let him get on the boat. Pull him over here toward him. Over here toward him. There you go. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that sheeper. I don't do good holding fish. It's got human teeth. Yeah, they do. Now, do you want supper or <laughs> let's release him? We can 
That's good eating. Really? Oh, finally got on to the fish, my gosh. I swear this has been like the most absurd thing ever that I can't catch fish off this boat. But finally in one. Get him up here and see what we got. Oh. Nice little sheep's head, yeah. Woo. Finally, put a fish in the boat. It's about that gone time. Finally, guys, he's not huge, but finally got into a little sheep's head there. Whew. Probably gonna take him up and smoke him up tonight. You get a ruler up, make sure he's big enough. Man, that felt good. I'm not gonna lie, I was starting to get concerned that maybe I had a curse on this boat or something like that, but finally got into a sheep's head. Hopefully we're into a little school over here, so. Whew, that was awesome. So as you guys can tell, I finally did get at least one fish in the boat, which was awesome because I was really starting to get concerned there that I was never going to catch a fish on this new boat. But you know what? I've said it once and I'll say it a hundred times more. I might not have caught very many fish the last couple days, but you just can't beat this view. This is Ron signing out. We'll see you on the next one.